Have you ever been in a situation where you're shooting at your enemy and you swear you shot at them only to get fucking killed? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's something called input lag and it's losing 100% of your games. Let me explain. Input lag is the delay between your input and the reaction on your screen. It's the number one factor if your gameplay will feel smooth or not and if you think it doesn't matter when you're playing games like this, it definitely will matter when playing games like this. So when you click your mouse, your PC registers the input, sends it over to the Fortnite servers, the Fortnite servers give a reply back, and then your PC registers it and sends it over to the monitor, and that's when you actually see this whole thing happening. Now all of this can be really easily improved by using tweaks. Literally, cut down all of the input delay using tweaks, cut down the ping using tweaks, and even overclock your monitor by using tweaks. Now of course you can always pay for fiber optic canter, and you can always buy a new monitor, a new processor, and all that stuff, but why? Why pay so much money when you can do it for money? much much cheaper and have a better long-term solution. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the best ways to remove input lag and start winning some fucking game. This is how much input lag I had before. Look at it. It's so fucking bad. No wonder I'm losing every fucking game. Number one, never plug anything in the front. Plug everything in the back. It will remove a shit ton of input delay. Use some tweaks. We're gonna be using Riptix today. Just join the Discord server or go to Riptix.com and get yourself a pack. You can also use the free pack, but always the paid packs are much, much better. So yeah. So there's three options here. Remove input lag, peripheral tweaks, and input lag apps. And we're gonna be using input lag and I'm gonna be doing a before and after on each and every setting. As you can see, we've got a huge fucking improvement from doing only one tweak. So here's the before and here is the after. Now in the peripheral tweaks, we have four tweaks, which are mouse, keyboard, USB ports, and device manager. I'm gonna be using each and every one of them and I'm gonna be showing you the before and after on this whole section to not waste a lot of time. Now would you look at this? Oh my God. Look at the before and look at the after. What the actual fuck? Disable enhanced point of precision. This can fuck your aim so fucking hard. Please put the polling rate to the maximum you can. Maybe a thousand, that's gonna be really good. You're gonna use up some of the CPU, but it's really, really worth it. Just find your mouse, find the software for your mouse, either Razer, Logitech, whatever, and do this because it's really helpful. Now, if you've done everything that I've been telling you in this video, you must have extremely low input delay. And yeah, I mean, I boosted my input delay from this to this oh my fuck yeah. now if you found this video helpful please leave a like subscribe discord.gg slash tweaks join the discord server boost your fps with the best free tweaks or go to ripsies.com and buy the best tweaks on the fucking market it's gonna change your whole fucking life that's about it see you in the next video